After dawn, sunrise. This section deals with Ostad Elahi's professional life and his activities within society. Some time after the passing of his father, Ostad Elahi took up residence in different cities in Iran while continuing to pursue his spiritual researches. He had come to the conclusion that the time for secluded contemplation and ascetic practices had come to an end, thus demonstrating that from then on, spiritual progress no longer depended on renouncing the world, but rather on leading an active life in society, the subject detailed on this panel. Several photographs sum up the course of Ostad Elahi's professional life, first as an employee at the registry office, and then as a magistrate. His diploma from the National School of Jurisprudence. No matter what work one undertakes to do, one should do it with utmost seriousness and not be negligent about it, so that one may carry it out in the best possible manner. I was so serious in carrying through my studies that I succeeded in passing within six months a judicial course that had been designed to take three years. The sayings on the wall are among the reflections made by Ostad Elahi on the position of a magistrate. Before entering public service, I was unaware that my 12 years of ascetic practice and prayer had no more value than a single year spent in society. The judicial tasks and delicate missions to which I was assigned contained such lessons that I could not have received under any other circumstances. He often gave his rings and rosaries as gifts to people around him. In this showcase, a few rosaries, as well as some rings, studded with pieces of agate and turquoise. To each of these objects, Ostad Elahi assigned special functions. Each ring or rosary was reserved for a particular prayer. Some of these rings date back to the 17th century. The fine engravings gives them great value. Ostad Elahi had a very strong sense of justice, which was not limited to the confines of his professional obligations. For him, the humblest object, the merest incident in daily life, deserved to be considered in the light of universal order and harmony. This showcase contains a number of simple personal objects, including an old lighter that has deserved to be talked about at length. The story of this lighter goes back to when I was the public prosecutor in Rome. One day, when I was on leave, someone I had encountered on the street tried to hand over to me a file about a case he wanted me to handle. Since it was professionally inappropriate for me to be in direct contact with the plaintiff, I stress the fact that every petition should be filed only during office hours and in accordance with regular procedures. Had it been a case of some public interest, I would have accepted the file without hesitation. But it was all about a personal problem which wasn't at all urgent. I asked the plaintiff to present his file to the court next day, but he insisted so much that I had to repeat to him rather dryly what I had told him already. Back at home, while looking around for something, 
I came across a lighter which I hadn't used for a very long time. When I tried to make it work, some petrol leaked out, spreading over my hand without my noticing. And when I lit the lighter, my hand caught fire and was badly burnt. That same night, I was told in a dream, you must thank God that your hand hasn't been cut off. Your mission is to attend to people's problems and look how you make a distinction between a holiday and a work day, just as your colleagues do. You made that person unhappy and he left with a heavy heart. You're fortunate you didn't do it purposely. Other objects and documents belonging to this period of Osta de la his life. A few deeds of family properties here. And here, some personal objects, including a chess box. and some letters written in his hand. Of the 27 years of his judicial career, Ostadila he was called upon to travel to different parts of the country to take on different assignments. The chronology of his career and the cities he was assigned to are all indicated on this map of Iran. On the platform, a small writing table. And to the right, the judge's robe and some personal accessories. Oster de Lahi considered his judicial tenure as an opportunity to test his ethical principles. He was the very example of professional conscientiousness. His firmness and courage in the face of financial and political pressures were unshakable, as bear witness the official files in the ministry archives. His impartiality went hand in hand with a compassion and a sense of humanity that made him particularly attentive to those ignored by society, the truly helpless and orphans cheated by their legal guardians. Another display of professional and personal documents. Some pages from the official files of Ostadilahi and a few observations and comments he addressed to the Minister of Justice regarding certain decrees published in the Judicial Bulletin. In the attaché case, some notebooks containing personal observations, practical remarks, translations and poems. Some photographs from the time of his tenure as a judge bring us to the end of the section devoted to his professional life. 